I don't think she likes it very much. Oh. Hey, what you doing? We went to the pumpkin patch this morning, as you can tell from the beginning of this video. Um, I feel like it was it was pretty fun. Um, Riley was afraid of the carousel, which I kind of expected, but we wanted to try it anyway. Um, I think she liked the train. She definitely liked the hayride to the pumpkin patch. She was playing with the hay, and then she liked being in like the pumpkin fields. Um, and then that's about all we ended up doing there. But it was fun because Nathaniel and I, um, he's been before, I guess. Um, but I've never been to that pumpkin patch. And so it was pretty cool. Um, it was pretty nice. It was big. There's like a lot of stuff. Um, it'll be more fun when she gets a little bit older because there's like other activities that she can do when she's older. Um, and it'll be fun when I don't have gestational diabetes and we can get like the pie and stuff like that. It smelled so good. Nathaniel did get an apple cider like slushy thing with like ice cream in it um and I tried that and that was really good um but like we couldn't really try any of the other bakery stuff or anything like that um so that'll be fun too to be able to try like all the yummy snacks next year um but it was pretty good um definitely I'm tired Riley's not taking her nap right now I can hear her like kind of rolling around. She took a nap on the way home and then we had lunch and kept her up a little bit late. So I'm hoping she'll fall asleep soon. 
Um, she might just end up with a shorter nap and maybe an earlier bedtime. Um, but yeah, it was a really good time. Um, and now we're just hanging out. Nathaniel took today and tomorrow off. And then this weekend, church is up at a camp. And it was, like, optional for him to go up and help. So he decided to just take advantage of having a weekend off. You gotta wash it with your sponge. Scrub, it. scrub, scrub, scrub. Good job. <laughs> no, <laughs> gross. <laughs> Okay. Wow, make them all clean. Wow. Is that so fun? Oh, careful. Where are you going? So it's been a busy few days. Um, I just wanted to give like a quick update on that and like a pregnancy update. I'm 35 weeks and um, five days. And um, let's see. So I went to the pumpkin patch. Nathaniel was supposed to go to the doctors just for a routine like physical but um his doctor had like called in sick or something so he didn't end up going and then um so he came home we just hung out on thursday didn't do anything else and then on friday was super busy um i showed a little clip of her like sitting in my lap eating breakfast that was after her mri so riley had to go get her annual mri um to check on her um spine for her tethered cord Nathaniel's actually taking Riley right now to the follow-up for that, so I'll share an update maybe on that next time, a different video. Um, but um, he took her to the MRI. She came home. She was not a happy camper. She was pretty upset just because she had to be sedated for the MRI, so she was just groggy, not feeling well. Um, I turned on Sesame Street. She really loves Sesame Street right now, so I turned on Sesame Street. She kind of just sat in my lap. We watched Sesame Street for a little bit and then watched Luca, which is like her favorite movie. And we just like hung out and um, she felt better. She went back to being herself like pretty quickly. Um, and then on Friday while she was napping, Nathaniel and I went and got our COVID boosters. And then I had an NST, a non-stress test scheduled for that afternoon. So I went and did that. Um, I have to do that once a week because of my gestational diabetes. They just measure the baby's heart rate, make sure um, she's moving and respond. her heart's responding well to movement. Um, so I get that done once a week. My next one is in a couple days. Um, so yeah, we just did that. It was super busy. Um, and then as far as like pregnancy stuff, like I mean, I feel okay. I definitely feel like I'm almost 36 weeks pregnant. Um, I'm not feeling great, but we're managing. Um, the gestational diabetes, like I think it's going pretty okay. My fasting numbers have been a little bit unstable, so I did start insulin. Um, I started insulin for that, and then my post meal numbers are always good, but um, they adjusted my insulin and increased it a little bit last night, but when I woke up at like 2 a.m. to do my middle of the night check to make sure everything was okay, my blood sugar was super low. It was like 51, um, which is really low, so I had to get up, have some milk, it dropped down even more to 26, <laughs> so I had to find soda. I ordered some juice, so I have that tonight to try if my blood sugar is too low. Um, but I had to go find something. We don't really keep juice in the house, and most of the soda we have is like diet, so I found some like old Sprite that was like flat that had been opened for who knows how long, and I drank that and had cheese and crackers, and my numbers went back up. 
Um, but I called this morning and they're bringing it back down a little bit. Um, so I'll try that tonight and hope it goes well. Um, but I mean, I think I'm managing things pretty okay. Um, and all my tests have come back normal, growth scans and fluids and, um, cause they give, when they have the NST, they give you an ultrasound every time and like check on your amniotic fluid and that's been good. Um, so everything's still looking good. Um, it's just, just monitoring everything. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that was Friday and then, um, um, so the rest of the weekend we did nothing. Um, nothing. Um, oh, I included the clip of her washing her pumpkin. So we did that on Sunday, but I think the rest of the weekend we pre Oh, Nathaniel and I went out for lunch. That was really nice. We did that. We had like a date, like an actual date out. Um, so it was really fun. But, um, the COVID booster, my second shot, I got a fever and chills and body aches. And this time I thought it was going to be fine because like I woke up in the middle of the night. I felt fine. Um, everything was like good. We got her shots at like two in the afternoon. So I figured like I woke up, I think I even woke up at like five or six in the morning and felt totally fine. But then when I like got up, got up at seven, my body, it was hurting so bad. I was so achy. It was like hard to walk. Like it hurt so bad. And I checked my temperature. It was like 101. So I had to take Tylenol and that actually helped a lot. Um, because since I'm pregnant, I have to keep my fever down. Like if I have a fever, I have to keep it down. I think below 100.4. Um, so I took Tylenol. Felt better for a while. It wore off. Fever came back up. Whatever. So I took more Tylenol. And then I think by the next morning, I was fine. Um, but on Saturday, yeah, we just kind of did nothing because I didn't feel good. Um, and Nathaniel didn't feel good either. He was just really tired. Kind of same thing that happened to him with the second shot. So um, the rest of the weekend was pretty low key. <laughs> Um, which was good because Friday was so busy. And then this week, Riley's got her appointment today. I've got an NST on Thursday. I'm looking at my calendar. And then I have a regular OB appointment. My 36-week appointment is on Friday. Um, and then we heard back about Riley's, like, speech therapy. Um, she's not starting yet, but I have, like, an online class next week. I think probably about, like, tools we can use at home to help and then hopefully after that's done she'll get scheduled in to see like a therapist so we've just got a lot going on I don't know how that's gonna work with the baby I'm pretty much gonna be here anytime in the next month so yeah <laughs> anyway that's all for today's video um just want to share our little like pumpkin patch trip and then just some random updates um so yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more, and I will see you next time. Bye.